Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a demonstration of editing darker newborn skin using the LSP Signature Newborn Action Suite. Now, whichever skin tone your baby is, whether they are very, very pale, very, very dark, olive, um, somewhere in between, the editing steps you take will be exactly the same. But when editing dark skin, I'm going to show you a couple of the actions that work absolutely beautifully. This image here is by Melanie Nelson. So let's zoom in a little bit here. Now this baby has absolutely beautiful skin. There is no baby acne, there's no real flaking going on, nothing like that. Um, but if you do have a baby with flaky skin, the Skin Retouch Brushes, Skin Pro, Skin Perfection, which is the Goldilocks action um, of skin um, correcting for newborns, you can use these um, because they will help you remove any flakes and baby acne without um, damaging the integrity of the skin tone, without making it overly smooth or plastic looking. So, first of all, before doing anything, you need to balance your image out. This image is already beautifully balanced, but if your image is too dark or too bright, um, too cold, or too warm, you can use these actions here in the Instant Balance Fix, and you can watch the other tutorials for those ones. I'm going to use a little bit of Divine Contrast Wash, and you can see there, just before and after, it's just added a beautiful hint of contrast to the image. You can use the multi-layer bases, again, you can see those in the other tutorials, but I'm just going to jump straight in. Um, to using the brushes. So I'm going to use the Brighten Up um, Softly action first to give some brightness to baby's skin because you really do want, um, it's not about lightening the skin, it's about um, kind of changing the lighting in your image to add the attention to the face. So you don't want to overly lighten the darker skin but you do want to bring the attention there. So I'm just going to use this to dodge some of the highlights here just to bring that attention into baby. Now I'm going to use the light brush darken down, but instead of darkening the skin, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to darken the background. So I've made the brush nice and big, and I'm just darkening around the edges here just to bring that focus really into baby. So I'm just darkening here. Your brush settings need to be normal, 100% opacity and 25% flow when using these actions. Let's make that brush small again. Now there is no real redness on the skin to correct, there is a little bit of shine so I'm going to play paint away its shiny areas and use this just to calm down this shiny area here. Very very mild, you do not want to overdo it because um, you want that natural glow to remain there on baby's skin. So I'm just using this a little bit here just to bring the attention into baby's face. Using it a little bit on the, uh, on the fur too. I'm going to play baby soft skin just to soften that skin just a tiny tiny little bit just to give it that smilk, silky kind of smooth appearance without overly softening so you can see I've gone in very very gently there just smoothing any areas that look a little bit dry Colour correction, um, I'm going to play the purple lift and boost because there is a tiny bit of a purple hint, um, mainly to do with the white balance around the lips here. So I'm just using that to remove that slight purple toning. I'm also going to use a warm up baby and paint this over the arm here, just to add some of that natural rich warmth back into the skin tone there, um, any areas that look a little bit cool. Now to the Divine Foundation, uh, I'm going to play the Creamy Velvet Dark Skin. Now these do give a real creamy vibe to the skin, a real painterly look. Um, so you can decide if you want to go in full um, or if you want to go in very gently. I'm just going to go in quite gently, but you'll see it really softens that skin and gives it that creamy, dreamy texture there. So I'm just going in very, very gently. It gives it that beautiful, beautiful fine art glow. You could also use top um, to add some darkness into the skin, not so much darkness, but it will add that richness in, into the skin tone there. If you've found you've lightened up baby a little bit too much and you're losing the integrity of the natural skin tone, you can just use that a little bit there. Now into select and fix, um, you can find, oh, <laughs> I did what I was just about to say, don't do, don't just click the select and fix, click play a, du um, a duplicate fixing layer first. 
you can find the instructions for this on the video tutorial section um, that will show you exactly what this action does. But basically you play create a duplicate fixing layer, grab your patch tool up here, it's on the spot healing brush menu, and you can just go around any little areas you want to get rid of really quickly. Um, for example, we've got some little bits of fluff coming in here. Um, there's a little mark, a scar on the forehead there. I don't recommend removing actual birthmarks or anything like that. Um, just little areas like this. You can also use this to extend the backgrounds and things, but again, the, the, the video tutorial on the website that shows you exactly how to use Select and Fix. And when you've selected, um, you can play Select and Fix, and it removes those little bits and bobs for you really, really quickly. So now we're coming down to the finishing section. Um, I'm going to play the vignette. This will add a darkness around the edges, um, really bringing in the detail to the to the um, baby in the middle here. And you also have some other finishes. You could play, for example, this image, dark and woody would look really nice. But I'm going to paint that off the baby because it adds a lot of darkness in there. And this image is already pretty dark as it is now with the darker background. So I'm just going to use a black brush just to lighten that up a little bit there. Then I'm going to use the uh, the warm blanket too, which is here. And I'll add that warmth, that beautiful creamy warmth over the image and a subtle contrast to finish. So let's take a snapshot and flatten and see where we were before and after. And that's using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions. This baby really didn't need very much doing to her skin at all. Um, but if you have a baby with baby acne, um, those temporary spots and flakes, you can use the skin retouch brushes and you can find the tutorials for those um, over on the LSP Actions website. This is the Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions and these are available at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.